Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Google Vision API to detect multiple objects. So the Cloud Vision API can detect an extra multiple objects on an image with object localization. So this method, this feature allows you to basically upload image and the Vision API will detect a different object uh, within an image. So for example, in this image, the Google Vision API was able to detect uh, this picture frame and the door and the bicycle itself. So essentially, you can use this feature to detect different objects like tables, chairs, cars, and so on. Now let's open our Python editor. And so before we begin, uh, so I wrote this uh, draw borders function using the payload library. And someone recommend uh, using the polygon class to draw the borders based on the further values. And I tried and it seems easier, but one of the drawbacks is that I cannot change the, the language. And from my previous video, I show you how to use the pillow library uh, to create a function to draw the line borders based on the further C values. And I was using the line class, which allows me to have a little bit more uh, freedom to change the line formatting, like the line width and color and uh, uh, the border color and so on. But in today's video, I'm just going to uh, use this function that I created yesterday and we'll basically draw the borders based on the vertex values using uh, the draw borders function. And I'll post all the Python script on my website and I'll link the link in the video description so you can uh, take a look. Now let's open a blank Python script. And here uh, in this exercise, I already pre-wrote some Python script. And for this demo, I'll be using the random function from the numpy library, as well as uh, the draw borders uh, function and the image class from the pillow library, and as well as uh, the pandas module as well. To start, I'm going to create my file name variable. And in this exercise, I'll be using uh, these three images. So these three images are images that I download from IKEA. And I thought uh, IKEA has the best uh, stock photos for uh, experimenting uh, the Vision API. So this is the first image, and we have a living room with different uh, furniture. And this is the second image, and the last image is just the image of, of a pillow. And we'll see how the Vision API is going to be able to detect different objects uh, from these images. So my file name is going to be ikea1.jpg and I'm going to uh, create my file path. And it should be images, okay, images. Now I'm going to open the image and store the byte data to a content object. So here I'm going to take the image, I'm going to open the image path. Oops. And I'm going to open this binary. I'm going to name the, uh, the output image file. <clears throat> now I'm going to store the bytes data to the content object. And here I'm going to actually I forgot. So I'm going to construct my image object first. So vision dot types dot image. And here I want to provide the content object. So using the client uh, instance, and we're going to use the object localization uh, method. And inside the object localization uh, method we're going to pass the image object to the image parameter. Now let me just run the Python script by itself and we'll see uh, what we get so far. So we have a typo, uh, image path is not defined. So let me take a look. Know why. So here's I made a typo. Should be os dot path dot join, not underscore join. So os dot path dot join, 
okay if I run the, the line again okay so this time uh, I'm getting the correct image path now let me uh, start over again so this from Ibsen from line 17 all the way to uh, line 10 okay and let me move the panel to the right Now, if I print the response uh, object, and this the the image and the tape response uh, result. So basically, this is just a different version of the uh, JSON response. Now, if we just take a quick look, so from the response uh, object, and we, we can see that we get uh, four different results. So that means from uh, this IKEA one image. The Vision API was able to detect four different objects from this image. So for the first object, we get a, we have a couch, and with a confidence score of eighty, almost eighty-one percent. And for the bounding poly, so that's the vertices. And we'll use the draw borders function to take the vertices values to draw the borders around uh, the couch uh, later on in this video. So here we have a table, and the confidence score is 69 percent and actually it should be one two, oh so i was i was incorrect so it should be three objects not four and the last one is lighting so we know what the image in the tape response looks like we cannot extract all the records uh by using the response that localize object annotations and we'll store the output to a, a object I'm going to name this object localize object annotations. And so here I have a typo. I mean, let me just do a copy paste. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I print the localize object annotations object, and that's going to return as a list. We are converting all the uh, localized object annotations uh, record and store that into uh, each individual records inside a list. Now to make the, the list more informative, and I like to use the, the pandas diaphragm to make the information as a uh, tableau format. So here I'm going to create empty uh, data frame object. So uh, data frame and I'm going to specify my columns so from the output we know that we have a name and the confidence score and for the uh, mid uh, value so I'm going to just ignore uh, this item right here since it's relevant to uh, what I need to do so I don't usually need those information now for the first column so I'm going to assign that to name and for the second column, so I'm going to name the column name to score. Now we can uh, iterate each item within this list. So localize object annotation list. So I'm just going to say for object in localize object annotations. And I'm going to append uh, each uh, value one by one. So using the data frame dot append method, and I'm going to convert everything to a dictionary. So my first column is name. So here I'll take object dot name, and for the second column it will be uh, score. So that's the confidence score. So object dot score, and that's it. Now I want to ignore the index, so I'm going to set the ignore underscore index to uh, to two. Okay, and that should be it. Now if I just run uh, this set of code right here, and if I just print the data frame, and so here we get uh, three records: so couch, table, lighting, and followed by the score values.
now we extract the object information to a table to or basically to a pandas data frame now the next thing we need to do is we need to draw the borders um, to the image to identify uh, how is the google vision api uh, detect different objects and using what pixel of the image that google is able to identify those objects so here i'm going to create a pillow image object and from the image uh, class. So the image class is actually from the pillow utility uh, module. And since I already import the image class, actually let me double check, I don't think that's a class. Okay, so I was, uh, so I misspoke. So this should be an image module, not class. From the pillow library, I already uh, import the image uh, module and I don't want to uh, recreate the wheel. So here I can just, uh, take the pillow utility module i can just import the image module directly uh, from this utility uh, python script now here we can so we're going to say image that open so we're going to open the image and we'll provide the image path now i'm going to perform a very similar uh, operation as uh, inserting the value to the pandas data frame so ultimately, I can put these uh, two operations together into one operation. But for this tutorial purpose, uh, I decided to make two separate operations. So that's easier for you to kind of digest how everything works. But later on, I post the Python script on my website, and I'm going to probably going to merge uh, these two operations together. So now I will have the loop right here, and I'm going to uh, remove the data frame uh, insertion. So first I'm going to create my RGB value. So it should be the rent random int function. And I'm going to set the color value between 0 to 155. Actually, let's do so let me take a look at the image. So the first image is a little bit uh dark. So I'm going to set the color to something light. So let's do 150 to 255. And I'll copy uh, this uh, function two more times. Now we're going to take the draw borders function. And so let me put this uh, side by side. Oh, actually, I'm going to put this uh, on the on the on the bottom. Okay, so that maybe a little bit easier to see. So from the draw borders function, we have uh, the pillow image parameter, uh, the bounding parameter. So that's the the bounding poly uh, value, and we have the color. So here you can uh, provide an RGB value, or you can provide a color name and the image size, caption, and the last one will be the confidence score. Now let me uh, close the, the file. So using the draw borders function, I want to provide the pillow image object and the bounding uh, poly value. And the RGB value. So this is going to be a tuple. and the pillow image size and as well as the name so it should be object.name and the confidence score and to finish the python script so we're going to do image.show to show the image now if i just run uh, line 30 to 38 So here, this is how the uh, Vision API uh, detects these three different objects. Uh, so I don't like the, actually, let me go back. So I'm going to change the RGB color to uh, to white. So that's a little bit hard to see. Okay, now this time uh, the font color is much better. So if we just take a look, 
in here, uh, the Vision API was able to detect the couch. So this couch right here. And so with the content score of 81%, and here we have a table. And so last one with the lighting. So that's the length. And let me close this image. Now let's move on to the second image. So for this image, we have uh, some guests in the Vision API will be able to detect maybe this uh this lighting right here. And I'm not sure about the mirror since it's sideways, so it's uh it's not very clear to the uh to the API. But let's just give it a try. So if I change my image file name to IKEA two. And so I'm going to run uh, just this batch. Okay. And so this time, um, the API was only able to uh, detect the furniture. So uh, maybe I should change the, the font color. Uh, so let me go back. So if I just print the data frame. So here we get one object detect, and which is uh, furniture. So let me move this. Up. Let me move the panel to the right. So we got one object detect and with a confidence score of 67%. And yeah, so unfortunately, uh, I guess, uh, like when the Vision API detects object, everything has to face forward. So like, it has to be completely uh, visible. And so that's why uh, for this image, the API was only able to detect just one object. Now let me uh, try the last image, so IKEA 3. And this image is just an image of a pillow. And hopefully, so we'll see. Uh, okay, so this time we get the description of pillow. So uh, the API was able to detect the object correctly. So this is everything for this video. And hopefully you guys found the information useful. And so always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.